we are graduating yet another cohort who diligently spent their time here from the 6th of June last year to today, 1st June 2024, with a very positive attitude and commitment, not only to learn, but also to share experiences among themselves. As I said, we continue to grow, not only in output, but also positively transforming what we found here. Your Excellency, in June, January last year, we graduated 18 UPDF officers. Nine of them were brigadier generals and nine colonels. I'm happy to report that in this second court, we have 21 officers who are graduating, composed of two brigadier generals, Brigadier Baliku Dembe Joseph and Brigadier Nabasa Akankunda. We have 18 young colonels, among them Lady Officer, Honorable Colonel Dr. Victoria Nekesa, and Lady Officer Colonel Sylvia Meme Lutalo. We also had one civilian, an Assistant Commissioner in the Ministry of Defense, Mr. Arthur Kamia, on the course. I'm happy, Your Excellency, to report that all the course members successfully completed the one-year National Security and Strategic Studies course, which is the main course run here at the NDC. And all the officers have also passed all the exams of their Master's in Security Strategy program of Makerere University and will, after leaving National Defense College, continue to complete their research paper for the awards of their master's degree. I would like to thank the Ministry of Defense, both ministers, the PS and the Under Secretaries, the CDF and the Strategic Headquarters, Training and Doctrine, and of course my colleague General Gumba from Command and Staff College for the full support they continue to give the National Defense College to make their contribution in securing Uganda's future is because of collective efforts of all the individuals I have acknowledged above. I could not have done it alone. As a commandant, all I did was to provide leadership. We are grateful to the First Lady and the Honorable Minister of Education and Sports. We're also grateful to Professor Kwakol, the Executive Director of National Council for Higher Education, and our team, who is here represented by Dr. Unyait, the Director of Quality Assurances, for the guidance and support which they have given us on the process of making our college a public tertiary institution. This is a technical name, which will offer us many opportunities to the college. As I indicated earlier, Your Excellency, that we are growing. We look forward to the continued support of Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs and all the key stakeholders in the upcoming next phase of expansion of the college, including in infrastructure, facilities, key human resource, as the college consolidates its position in line with the broader professionalization process of the UPDF, as envisioned by Your Excellency, being closely monitored by the CDF, and also to develop a cadre of senior officers across the relevant ministries, departments, and agencies who understand the stakes involved on our national security and national interest. In an effort to address Your Excellency, the sometimes lackluster approach by some very senior civil servants on supporting and implementing policies and strategic government initiatives and programs, which directly affect our national interest and security, we propose that in the near future, as guided by the CDF, when we have increased our capacity, such senior civil servants be taken through the NDC course. 
on top of the leadership programs which they attend in Nali. Normally, we know they attend the courses in Nali, but we think it's important for them to attend the NDC course. We have discussed this proposal with the head of public service and also with the PS Minister of Public Service when they came to present lectures here at the college. But Your Excellency, this is also in line with what you spoke about last time when you came during our first graduation. The Minister of Defense heeded your instruction and sent in one officer who is graduating today. I wish to congratulate all the graduates and this means a lot to the college and a lot to us. Thank you so much.